What does fasting mean? The common definition of fasting is obviously staying off food, but what does it really entail? Are we supposed to fast as Christians constantly? What are we fasting for, and why should it be part of our lifestyle? Matthew 6:16. 6, and whenever you are fasting, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they put on a sad and dismal face, like actors, discoloring their faces with ashes or dirt, so that their fasting may be seen by men. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, they already have their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head, as you normally would to groom your hair and wash your face so that your fasting will not be noticed by people, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Jesus talking about fasting in the scriptures we just listened to, that whenever we fast, which means we are definitely supposed to fast as Christians. Now note, not if you fast, but when you fast. So that basically answers the question of whether it should be part of our lives. Here are some important details to know about a believer's fast. Number 1. Define the purpose for the fast. Before you embark on any fasting exercise, you must first define the purpose of that fast. Isaiah 58 6 AMP says, Rather, is this not the fast which I chose, to undo the bonds of wickedness, to tear to pieces the ropes of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free? and break apart every enslaving yoke. This scripture clearly shows us how a fast is defined to achieve a well-defined purpose. A wise man said, if the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. Fasting should either be for deliverance from the hold a certain spirit, breaking of different types of yokes, spiritual growth, for a personal empowerment to subdue the enemy, for insight into God's word. Whatever the desire is that drives you to the place of fasting, always ensure that you define your goals before embarking on any spiritual exercise. Number 2. Prepare for a fast before you start. A. By preparation, I mean selecting the books or materials you intend to study or listen to. Take them along with your Bible and let them be in line with the end goal you aim to achieve. B. You can write out your prayer points and the scriptures to guide you during prayers. Please note that fasting the Christian way without praying and studying the word is simply dieting or hunger strike. This is because the word of God is the spiritual food that strengthens us when we fast. C. Decide the number of days you intend to spend in the nature of the fast. The nature of the fast means it is a fruit fast or a wet fast where you take fluids at intervals, or you prefer a dry fast, no food or water all through the period. Esther 4, 15. Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai, Go gather all the Jews that are present in Susa, and observe a fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my maids also will fast in the same way. Then I will go in to see the king without being summoned, which is against the law, and if I perish, I perish. So Mordecai went away and did exactly as Esther had commanded him. Or maybe it could be abstinence from certain types of foods, like Daniel did in Daniel 1, 8 AMP. But Daniel made up his mind that he would not defile, taint, dishonor himself with the king's finest food or with the wine which the king drank. So he asked the commander of the officials that he might be excused to that he would not defile himself. D. Lastly determine the location where the fasting will take place, like a quiet secluded place, your home, church premises, hotel facility, or a campground. Note that if you go to a public facility, you will need to exercise some level of caution during your prayer time. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. Matthew 4, 1 The location for Jesus' fast was the wilderness. Please also see Luke 6, 12, KJV. 
Now at this time, Jesus went off to the mountain to pray, and he spent the whole night in prayer to God. Also, Mark 6, 46 AMP. And after he said goodbye to them, he went to the mountain to pray. Number 3. Ask God for grace and strength. Then pray against any form of distractions that the enemy may want to send your way to keep you from achieving the goal for the fasting exercise. Hebrews 4, 16 AMP says, Therefore let us, with privilege, approach the throne of grace, that is, the throne of God's gracious favor, with confidence and without fear, so that we may receive mercy for our failures and find His amazing grace to help in time of need, an appropriate blessing coming just at the right moment. There are too many distractions in the world today, and trust me, the devil is smart enough to know that if you achieve your set goal or reason for going into the fast, you'll disrupt many of his activities around your life. He will stop everything possible to ensure that you don't achieve the goal. That's why you need to pray for grace against every form of distractions. Number 4. Don't begin with a long period of fast if you have not fasted before. If you are new to fasting, you can begin by fasting off a meal. That way, you don't set a target of weeks and feel disappointed if you can't meet up with it. The idea is time spent focused on God, so don't make the length of time your objective. Rather, ensure that you have the right motives, like getting to know God's will better or receiving direction on a step to take. Number 5. Take extra time in Bible study and prayer when fasting. It's easy to say you don't have extra time even when you are not fasting, but there is a certain amount of time that you would have used to prepare and consume a meal. Fasting helps you use those extra minutes or hours to study and pray. This will charge up your spirit and get your mind aligned with God's thoughts. Even prayer will be more effective after every fast. Take note as you study, you will receive revelation from the Word of God. Isaiah 58, 8, KJV says, During a proclaimed fast, Then shall light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Number 5. We can also fast from other things. Beyond staying away from food, we can also fast from things like cable TV, social media, and so on. Oftentimes, we notice that it is easy to get addicted to certain ways of life, which can make us lose focus of what or who is most important. Through desire, a man, having separated himself, seeketh and intermediate with all wisdom. Proverbs 18, 1, KJV. Number 6. Believe God for answers when you fast. Jesus speaking in Mark 11, 24, KJV said, Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. After the Jews fasted, based on the request of Queen Esther, God answered their prayers, because Queen Esther believed that nothing was impossible with God. Esther 7, 1 So the king and Haman came to banquet with Esther the queen. And the king said again unto Esther on the second day at the banquet of wine, What is thy petition, Queen Esther? And it shall be granted thee. And what is thy request? And it shall be performed, even to the half of the kingdom. Then Esther the queen answered and said, If I have found favor in thy sight, O king, and if it please the king, let my life be given at my petition and my people at my request. For we are sold, I and my people, to be destroyed, to be slain, and to perish. But if we had been sold for bondmen and bondwomen, I had held my tongue, although the enemy could not countervail the king's damage. Then the king Ahasuerus answered and said unto Esther the queen, Who is he, and where is he, that durst presume in his heart to do so? And Esther said, The adversary and enemy is this wicked Haman. Then Haman was afraid before the king and the queen. And the king arising from the banquet of wine in his wrath went into the palace garden. And Haman stood up to make request for his life to Esther the queen. 
for he saw that there was evil determined against him by the king. Then the king returned out of the palace garden into the place of the banquet of wine, and Haman was fallen upon the bed whereon Esther was. Then said the king, Will he force the queen also before me in the house? As the word went out of the king's mouth, they covered Haman's face, and Harbona, one of the chamberlains, said before the king, Behold also the gallows fifty cubits high, which Haman had made for Mordecai, who had spoken good for the king, standeth in the house of Haman. Then the king said, Hang him thereon. Number 7. Appreciate God in advance for answers to your prayers. John 11.40 Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I knew that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. You must give thanks at the end of the exercise, as thanksgiving is an act of faith and a demonstration of our confidence in God. In conclusion, a very important thing to know about fasting is that we receive fresh power after every fast. Luke 4:14 4, KJV is a classic example. It says, And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him, through all the region round about. He was empowered by the Spirit of God, and he gained dominion over all powers of darkness. Men and women who demonstrate God's power on the earth are people that fast and pray regularly. Every born-again believer has access to God's power if we are thirsty enough and commit to seeking God in fasting and prayers. It is easy to see that many Christians think that only apostles, prophets, Pastors and evangelists can pray for the sick, deliver the oppressed. No, everyone that is willing to pay the price has access to God's power. Just like we exercise our physical body to firm up or strengthen our strengthened muscle, same way we exercise spiritually to strengthen our spiritual muscles. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you again for the revelation of your word and how I can be productive in my fasting. Thank you for this light. Lord, as I commit to this spiritual exercise, reveal yourself in greater dimensions to me. Ensure me with power from on high to dominate the territory you've assigned to me. Increase me from glory to glory and break every chain of the devil holding me down in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for answers to my prayers. In Jesus' name I pray. Please study this scripture on the subject of fasting for better understanding. Isaiah 58, 6.